In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to a standalone IP camera for live viewing and playback if you purchase the camera with an SD card using the DMSS app. The DMSS app can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. We've already downloaded it on our iPhone and set it up. So I'm going to first open the app. When you first open the app after installing it, you may need to go through that initial setup and you don't necessarily need to create an account, you can just use it in standalone mode. As you can see, I have no devices added to my app, so to add a device, I need to tap the plus icon at the top right hand side of the app, then tap the SN slash scan button. What this is going to do is access my camera. If your phone asks for access to your camera, you're going to want to click the allow notification. As you can see on the top of the camera box, there is a username and password. We've set the IP address to automatically get one from the router, which means you don't have to do any difficult IT work or setup on your local network. And then the camera just needs to be wired using a PoE injector, 12 volt DC power supply, or PoE switch to your router to get that IP address. On the box, there will be a QR code. This QR code might also be found on the camera's chassis itself. And this is your P2P serial number for remote viewing. So you can see it's also listed QR code for remote view. I'm going to scan this code. Sometimes you might need to get a better lighting or a better angle, and it may take you a second to get a good angle for the QR code. We'll bring it in as close as possible here, and maybe get a better angle light. After getting a better angle for that QR code, it was able to scan this device serial number in, and then I can click the, or tap the next button. Here I need to choose the device type. This happens to be a wired camera. If you get an NVR or DVR or XVR from us, you could choose that device type. However, this video is for a standalone wired camera. So I'm going to tap the wired camera option. It's going to connect to my camera. I can give this camera a name. I'm just gonna name it Office since I'm here in the office and it's looking outside of our office window. I'm going to use the login information on the label on the box for my camera to log into my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and type that default password in here. And then I'm going to tap the save icon at the top right hand side. As long as nobody has that QR code access, they'll be unable to access your camera even if they had the username and password. As you can see, after entering that username and password and giving my device the office name, it was able to connect to my camera and now I can live view that camera. If you're interested in learning more about how to use our app, Check out the related resources at the bottom of this guide to learn how to use the app. Hopefully this video helps you connect to your phone and shows you how easy it is to connect using the app. Thank you for watching.